So we had a good showing at the Jamboree. Um, I'm sure if anybody's heard this speech before. Crosstown's had good showings in the Jamboree before. I remember when I was coaching at St. A's one year, we came over, went to the Jamboree, we saw Crosstown knock off a uh, Salem team, actually. For those of you who won the top team in the state. They beat them in the Jamboree. The next week, they went out and lost to a Bedford team that was still young, and Gosstown ended up not making the playoffs that year. And that was the last year before I got here. You guys are welcome to do that if you want. We, we survived the test, I would say. Uh, we did it against a proven Division One team, which is nice. Uh, it is still an exhibition, so Salem didn't have everybody healthy. They weren't showing everything. We weren't showing everything. Uh, but you know, the, the basics were there, I thought, so that was encouraging. Uh, you know, very few. I'm trying to think back. Uh, negative plays. I mean, one penalty. Um, really, no loss of yardage, no sacks. The whole line protected well, I thought. So stuff that we worked on in the preseason is starting to pay off a little bit. So that was good, kind of uh, confirming that. Oh, it was awesome. I think it gave our team a big boost um, because Salem is a good team. They're ranked pretty highly. And uh, the fact that we were able to go out there and have a decent showing was, I think, really helped us. It was nice to have a real test and game, game type situation. Um, Salem was good, and I think we played very well for the majority of the scrimmage. There were a couple. A couple things that didn't go our way, but that's going to happen, especially preseason. Uh, it felt good. It felt nice to finally face another opponent in like an uh, environment like Gill was. It it was cool to see like how our team did against like a team like Salem, how they're tough and competitive like they are. It was awesome because you got to go play like real game situations, so like you get back to the feeling, and you get just start trying to get that connection between your teammates and see how everyone does. With like the crowd and all the like the intensity in the game. Yeah, we had a good showing. Um, you know, part of it is, and I'm not meaning to knock down everything we did, but um, we have a lot of kids returning on defense. They have Salem has a young offensive line this year, so Salem's going to be very good. Um, but we were able to kind of take advantage of the fact that they didn't have experience on the O line, so it's it makes it difficult to pick up some of the stuff we were doing. Um, and you know, we were doing basic stuff for us, but. Um, it gives teams problems. Now, the, the challenge will be teams that are more experienced, uh, teams that have seen us before, like Concord has. Uh, you know, we're going to have to really play well. So, yes, it was a good start, uh, but we're, we can't be finished and proven. It's exciting. Um, try not to get too, like, excited by it, but when you can see everybody's doing their job and things are coming the way they're coming together the way they're supposed to, it's. It's nice to see, especially in the last three years, it's or two years, we've had a lot of young players, and all the critiques and little changes coaches have made on film, we don't need to do them nearly as much now. Like when we watch film at the beginning of the season, coaches point things out that he's had had to have said the last two years, and now it's just second nature. And you can see that with all our linebackers, they're fine up beating blocks, everybody's doing the things supposed to. Uh, here's another thing, guys. How much uh, how much tight end did you play in this game, Tim Como? None. None. How much two-back stuff did we use? First snap. One. Right? Yeah. Um, that stuff that we would have liked, if we were playing Salem in the game, that's some good stuff. And against Concord, it's going to be some very good stuff. So we did not use a lot of our good stuff against these guys. The other big thing, guys, is going to be pursuit on defense. Because they've got a home run threat at running back. He'll be the second best running back on the field on Saturday, so I'm not that worried about him. But he's got the ability to make people miss, and he'll try and line stuff back. Everybody's got to be in pursuit every play. I'd rather not play Concord at all. Uh, just like I'd rather not play most teams that are on our schedule because it's a bear. Um, you know, the, the, I, I don't think there's any good time. Like you could argue early season, late season. Uh, I think it's gonna be crazy. You know, Congress is a real good team, a real good program. But you know, I'm excited. I think our team is. We are so ready for Concord right now. It's gonna be crazy when, on come Saturday. What route is this? Kind of like angle corner, wing, old wing T route. Concord runs this. We do not 
on this want to be sinking in. There's no need. They don't throw it here. Force them to throw it there. They're not ready to. Their quarterback is doing ball faking and rolling out. So get used to sinking off of that move and be right there. He's going to break the corner from the right back. That is a danger having three guys back. So we couldn't have done this much worse. We want three guys back so the damn ball doesn't hit the ground, right? So we let the ball hit the ground anyways. And you got to know you're vulnerable to fake, so you've got to be aware of that stuff up front, guys. We'll start doing what Albert did last year. We'll put three guys back and just automatically fair catch everything. So excited. I can't wait. It's just been, ever since the schedule bit has been out, just been on my mind. Week one, week one, I conquered. Well, Leo is still extremely fast, so that's this obviously everyone knows that. But I know we had they have a different quarterback since so we lost a uh, few left. So that quarterback, he's he's all right, but I feel we can do pretty good against their their offense. Uh, you know, I think about the game. Um, I think about like walking out on the field with the team, uh, our grizzly jack that we do, and then I just think about like the reads we have to make. Think about the plays we're gonna run, and like visualize who's gonna be where, and visualize us winning at the end. Um, Concord looks to me like they're just, they're clicking right now. So they, they look like a well-coached team. Their defense was playing very well. They're using their techniques. They're, they're squeezing blocks when they're supposed to squeeze. They're containing when they're supposed to contain. The linebackers are reading stuff well. Defensive backs are doing their job. It's just, it's, they look like a well-oiled machine, and yet they got some new starters sprinkled in there. So that they've had a very strong offseason, obviously, uh, and had a very good preseason. So it's, it's a tough challenge. I mean, you, I feel like we've had a good preseason as well, but uh, we got to start. We got to start hot this year. So. It's exciting. First game of senior year. Um, it's a little bittersweet, I guess. First, last first game. Hopefully, we can beat Concord this time. Haven't beat him yet. <laughs> Last down is coached by Justin Huff. They oppose Concord High School today, coached by Eric Brown. Today's game, referee Jeff Deloitte, umpire is Brian Snow. Headlines are Harry Hansen, line judge Dan Moylan, and your back judge Brian Williams. We'd like to draw your attention to the center of the field. Team captains from Concord, Leo Sutter, Jacob Lewis, and Benjamin Nelson. And your Goffstown Grizzly captains, Connor Burke. Tim Como, Zach Como, and Casey Gervais. In addition, Gostown has a very special honorary captain today, Maddie Carlson. Maddie is a fellow Gostown student who was recently diagnosed with urine sarcoma, a rare form of blood bone cancer. Maddie's strength and courage as she has been fighting this battle with cancer is greater than any football player on the field today. This is why all the Gosstown football players strive to be Maddie Strong. It's more important than anything we're doing on the field, obviously. Um, it was something that they, the captains know Maddie. Um, a lot of the team does. Um, they're friends, so um, they just kind of brought it to me and said they wanted to do this, so I just kind of let them do it. Um, just kind of supported them in whatever they needed, but they really took it and, and kind of ran with it. Um, so I think it was important to them, and just anything you can do when someone's going through something like that, that it just, it helps. It's just a little bit of help. It's not a lot. Um, it doesn't take away from what they have to go through. Um, but maybe it makes it so that she has a pleasant afternoon and that the family, they have a, a little bit more money from the 50-50 where that's, that's a, a meal or two they can buy. Whatever it is, it's just, um, it's such a difficult thing for, for somebody her age to be going through. And it's, uh, and she's doing such a great job just with having a positive spirit that it meant a lot you know she's gone through something that none of us would ever be able to even imagine going through and I think just having her out there with us made 
me as a person feel better mm-hmm. and like made our team feel better I think she's just an incredible person and what she what she's going through isn't fair for anyone I just we want to do what we can do to help her out makes makes you appreciate it you appreciate everything the the fact that good health everything we have it's it's a gift and it's unfortunate her situation and we're trying to make help her out as much as we can and it opens your eyes to what what it could be what we could Gavin Moody I had no idea. I knew we were, I knew we were good, and I knew Concord was good. I just didn't know how it was going to play out, and I wasn't necessarily surprised at the end of it because I knew we were good. I don't even know because we we were prepared, and it shows. Yeah, and especially if you look at last year, um, losing to Concord week one basically kept us out of the playoffs at the end of the year. So every game matters, so absolutely, and especially a conference win, um, those are important. So I do think it's a good conquered team. I think they're going to be a ton better. They were young, so they'll be getting a lot better as the year goes along. So having a win over them is definitely a nice thing. So it's probably an added bonus as opposed to an out-of-conference win or, or a win that wouldn't be. It felt awesome, you know. I mean, it just proved that like the hard work that we were doing all week, conditioning a lot, just proved that it was all worth it and that like we are...